Why Australians really respect Thailand I think there is genuine respect amongst Australians and the Thai people. In this video we delve into why there is a real affinity with Aussies and the Thai people. If this is your first time on the channel or you have returned and like the content then please like, share and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Oh, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you know when my next video is uploaded. It's well known to modern day Australians that Thailand is one of the most travelled destinations for Aussies. It's a land of wonder and joy. Thailand plays an important part of Australian history. To many Australians, Thailand is a wonderful playground that is enjoyed by thousands of Aussies. In my time travelling to Thailand, I have felt a sense of mutual respect between the Thai people and most Aussies. I believe part of that comes from the fact that many Australians really respect Thailand. Australians really respect our men and women of the armed forces and there is an undeniable link between the two countries during wartime. Since 1945, prisoners of war and the Burma Thailand Railway have come to occupy a central place in Australia's national memory of World War II. There are incredibly good reasons for this. Over 22,000 Australians were captured by the Japanese when they conquered Southeast Asia in early 1942. More than a third of these men and women died in captivity. This was about 20% of all Australian deaths in World War II. The shock and scale of these losses affected families and communities all across Australia. The Burma Thailand Railway was built in 1942-43. The purpose of the bridge was integral to supplying the Japanese forces in Burma. The idea was to bypass sea routes which had become vulnerable when Japanese naval strength was reduced in the Battle of the Coral Sea and Midway. Aiming to finish the railway as quickly as possible, the Japanese decided to use the more than 60,000 Allied prisoners who had fallen into their hands in early 1942. These included troops of the British Empire, Dutch and an assortment of other nations. About 13,000 of the prisoners who worked on the railway were Australian. When this workforce could not meet the tight deadlines the Japanese had imposed, a further 200,000 Asian labourers were coerced into working for the Japanese. They were starved of foods and medicines and forced to work impossibly long hours in remote locations. Over 12,000 POWs, including more than 2,700 Australians, died. This harrowing time was immortalised by the very popular movie The Bridge on the River Kwai. The Anzac Legend and Australian Memory over the years, this story of atrocity and suffering has become a testament to the courage and resilience of the Australian soldiers, which has become folklore in Australia. Although these prisoners of war suffered the humiliation of being defeated and captured, they came to be portrayed as men who had triumphed over adversity. While in captivity, the Australians showed their qualities of humour, resourcefulness and mateship, and this enabled their experiences to become a glorious memory of war not seen since the Gallipoli campaign of 1915 which forged the Anzac legend. To Australians, probably the most important holiday on the calendar is Anzac Day. The Anzac Day ceremony is celebrated on April 25th and is in memory of those who died in the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, principally in the Gallipoli landings in Turkey during the First World War and the Allied soldiers who died building the death railway between Thailand and Myanmar. Anzac Day in Thailand is a special day because it is held at the Kachanaburi War Cemetery. There is usually a dawn service at a part of the death railway known as Hellfire Pass. Hellfire Pass is famous in Australia as it is known as the place where the legend of Weary Dunlop was forged. Weary Dunlop is probably the most famous Australian World War II veteran remembered for the compassionate medical care and leadership he provided for fellow prisoners of war at the Death Railway. A much respected leader, Dunlop optimised the mateship, self-sacrifice and bravery that were hallmarks of the Anzac legend and the tradition of the indomitable spirit of Australian troops. To visit Thailand and experience Anzac Day is a memory that will live with you forever. It is deeply moving and a visit to the Kanchanaburi Cemetery and War Museum is a must do when you visit Thailand 
not just on Anzac Day, but any day. To see how these facilities are maintained and the respect shown to the memory of this shocking time in the world's history and to the men who sacrificed their lives is both heartwarming and gives you a sense of brotherhood to the Thai people. After experiencing everything about the bridge on the River Kwai and indulging in the culture of Thailand, the friendliness of the Thai people and their smiles, Thailand will live in your hearts forever. It's no wonder why Aussies really respect Thailand. <laughs>